Well, yeah. Uh, firstly, it's uh, obviously it's. I mean, it weighs next to nothing. Uh, below 900 grams, this one, the Grit SL. Yeah, well below 900 grams, I think. Uh, so that's a huge selling point, obviously, for for uh, speed-minded uh, gravel cyclists. Uh, but then also, Im Im uh, importantly, it's zero maintenance. Uh, those that have maintained a telescopic fork know how much work that is. Uh, and, and this simply has nothing to maintain. There's no friction, anything uh, anywhere in it, or, and, and no seals to maintain or nothing. It just goes. Uh, then obviously it's, it's super energy efficient, uh, which enables you to go fast, obviously. You're not wasting your energy on, on heat in your fork. Uh, but maybe most importantly, uh, it's a matter of uh, frequency. So if we, if we put this one to the side here, and, and so, so let's imagine a scale uh, where we have uh, time trial bikes on one end of the spectrum and downhill bikes on the other end of the spectrum. So for time trial bikes, you obviously don't need uh, telescopic suspension forks to take care of big hits. You only have like the micro like coarseness of the asphalt you're riding on. Um, and for that, you need tires. Tires are good uh, at dealing with super high frequency stuff, like really, really, really fast stuff, but of small amplitude. Uh, but then on the downhill end of the spectrum, uh, you need to deal with rock gardens and big hits. And that's where telescopic forks come in. Uh, so you have tires that work really well on, on the smooth end here, taking care of just like surface coarseness, basically. And then you have telescopic forks that can deal with big hits. Uh, so we have your tires and that fork. Uh, on mountain bikes, you can make these like two modes of suspension almost overlap one another because you have like the tires, you get you fit bigger and bigger and bigger tires, and then they deal with bigger and bigger hits. Uh, finally, reaching into the fork space, so you, you cover the whole spectrum of, of micro stuff up to the big stuff. Uh, but we have a different scenario on gravel bikes. On gravel bikes, you don't really need to deal with rock gardens. And you don't want to fit like humongous tires on those bikes as well, because that would slow you down. So you, on a gravel bike, you have a bike with fairly narrow tires compared to a, like a plus size mountain bike. Uh, so you, you can deal with like, like the micro stuff through the tires, but then if you would fit a telescopic fork, you would have like a dead band there in between. The telescopic fork will be doing the big stuff, the tires, the micro stuff, there would be nothing there in between. Uh, while our fork is super responsive. Uh, it can deal with more hits per second than a telescopic fork can ever do. Uh, no matter how we tune it, if you tune the, like the rebound too super fast or something, it doesn't matter. It can never approach uh, the response of this fork. So with this, this fork, you can eliminate the gap. You can have the tires take care of the smaller stuff, and then the fork takes over at, yeah, sooner than a telescopic fork would do. And that's it.